Hello, my friends. Today we have a review for you from 2023. This one is a novel called Observer by Robert Lanza and Nancy Prest. This was published in 2023 and it is published by The Story Plant. And it is about, oh, maybe 380 pages. 380 pages. This is a science fiction novel that deals with the perceptions of what reality is. And so there is a group of people that are on an island, uh, on one of the Cayman Islands, and they're running experiments where they are putting a chip into people's brains that allows them to enter a multiverse, a different universe. And so when they insert this brain, they then have all these computer algorithms and programs that will then put the participant in another universe. And the science of this is that it is our perception, it is our consciousness that creates reality. It's not that reality is created first, but that our concept of time, space, who we are, uh, how we view things, how we identify things. That is what creates reality because, you know, many different people experience the world in many different ways. And so when you put these people that have this implanted chip in their brain into this program, they can then create a universe in which possibly maybe their loved ones haven't died. Um, possibly they could uh, see things that they wouldn't be able to see in real life, experience a oneness with the universe that they wouldn't experience normally. And the premise of this is that when they do this, they are actually creating an alternate universe that then, that then persists after they leave, that they can then revisit and has actually evolved from the previous time they visit. Now, our story uh, follows two characters. And one is Cora. She is a surgeon who just lost her job because she uh, told everyone that her boss um, made unwanted advances at her, but no one believed her. She lost her job. There is a social media backlash against her. And now she finds herself working for her rich uncle that won the Nobel Prize many years ago. She goes to this island where she meets the tech savant that is a part of the tech part named Julian, uh, her uncle Sam. And then we have a physicist, an older gentleman named George. Now George, Sam, and Julian are the ones that are creating this uh, device, this technology for people to go into different universes, different alternate dimensions. And she is there to implant the device in people's brains because she's a brain surgeon. <laughs> and uh, we also get the viewpoint of George, who is the physicist, the really smart guy that all of the science is based on in this book. Now, from what I understand, probably Robert Lanza wrote the science George perspectives and because he studies this type of research and physics and the idea of reality in real life and he wrote a lot of those sections a lot of the science in this is very based on his own research and then nancy cress wrote a lot of cora's uh side of the story and what we get is a very emotional human story and just imagine if we were to tell people that they could see their loved ones again. So as they are experimenting, they have people within the compound who have lost people that will go in and see their loved ones. George himself uh, is a widow. His wife died 16, 15 years ago. So he is able to create this alternate dimension where his life persists and lived. And he can go in there and hug her and talk to her like she is real because she is real. She is real in this other dimension. 
The highlight of this story for me was actually Coraline, or Cora. Cora's background and history is very fraught, and you don't really come to understand what happened to her in her childhood with her relationship with her sister, with her mother and father, until much later in the story as she opens up. So it feels like as you're getting to know her, you are having like a, a relationship with her almost, and she's opening up to you about the things that happened in her life which was really fascinating to me, especially when she starts a relationship with another surgeon. Uh, she's very tentative. She does not want to enter relationships because she knows at some point she's going to have to talk about her feelings. And she does eventually in this book. And as a reader, it's highly emotional. And Cora doesn't believe that these are actually alternate dimensions. She believes that these people are just having very vivid hallucin hallucinations. So she, so she is a skeptic throughout the entire story. This story has a lot of interweaving relationships, friendships, um, you know, even enemies. People don't get along all the time. And the human aspect of this is why I enjoyed this book so much. The science part was difficult for me to wrap my head around. I didn't really understand how a computer program with brain stimulation creating these vivid alternate dimensions actually translates to like this alternate dimension in other universe. Like the science there, I struggled with that because the idea that our perceptions creates reality, that the reason why this table in my room right now is there is because I observe that table, not because that table is real, but that because I observe and other people have observed that table, that is why it is real. So you get this very, uh, if a tree falls in the forest, but no one's around type thinking throughout the entire book. And it's a trip. Like I enjoyed it. It is definitely a more difficult book for me personally but I believe that the authors wrote it in a simplistic way to help me understand it. Like they could have wrote this book in such more complex terms. Um, I'm glad they did it <laughs> and I enjoyed it. The human aspects, the characterization were phenomenal. I recommend it. It is Observer from Robert Lanza and Nancy Kress. It is published by The Story Plant. And that's my review. Um, stop by your local library, see if they have this one. Uh, look on Libby, look on Hoopla. Uh, if, if they don't, you know, maybe request it. And if they don't have it, maybe buy it at your local bookstore uh, or your favorite online store. So Observer by Nancy Kress. Uh, I wanted to let you guys know that I'm going to be having a link in the description box of a way that you can support my channel by donating to the library I work at. So there will be a link down below where you can support and donate to the Sudbyville Public Library. All right. Thanks for watching. I will see you all next time.